Hey, what's going on, guys? Justin Wolf with Wolf Customs, and I uh, wanted to show you guys a new sheath that I've done today. Uh, I know you guys have seen this thing walking around through these woods and probably interested in what it is, so let me show you right now. All right, guys, what we have here is a sheath that I made for my good friend George Lewis and uh, from G3 Survival. A while back, we, uh, we swapped with our products. You know, he made me a very cool custom tomahawk, which I made a video of and you guys probably seen. And in return, I was going to make a sheath for him. So it's what he's done is he has sent me a knife. And you guys have seen this knife from the hawk video. But the knife... is what he calls the Panzer, which is pretty appropriate because this thing is very awesome to say the least. It's, um, you know, some people are going to sit there and say, oh, that's not, that's not practical, that's not, you know, functional or whatever. You know, and I, I, it doesn't matter what my personal preference is or what your personal preference is, is what matters is this is his personal preference. And this is a badass knife. No question about it. Doesn't matter whether or not you like it. He likes it. It's all that's important. So we had to take this beast of a knife and make a sheath for it. Well, obviously I'm not going to make some piddly bushcraft sheath or something like that because this is not a bushcraft knife. This is a radical knife, okay? George is a radical guy. Comes from a radical heritage. So we had to do something extreme, and that's exactly what we've done. I wanted to give it a nice leg strap. You know, nice buckled and everything else. This thing ain't going to go nowhere. It's also on a dangler system. And of course, just like all my other dangler systems, it's all removable. You know, so if we want to get this thing off, we just undo our leg strap. And we can come right in here just like this and slide that whole thing off just like that. Alright, so let's take a closer look at this thing. Everything was made with a 9 and 10 ounce veg tan leather. Very thick. Stitched with artificial sinew. And finished with Auburnoff's that Auburnoff's leather conditioner, I took that tip from uh, Ryan at Deepwood Handcrafts, and I tell you what, he, he's absolutely right. That stuff is the best. It is amazing. But like I said, I gave this thing a nice, thick, removable dangler. I did not put snaps on it. Um, I'm not a real big fan of snaps on danglers, just because they can pop loose. You can lose your knife. And that's the last thing I ever want is a knife to be lost because of one of my sheaths. So it removes here. And if you want to take this off, well, you're going to have to go through the hassle of undoing your belt. A um, couple other features that I've gave this knife is like you said, or like I said, you have the, the buckle down leg strap with plenty of adjustment. Held together with heavy-duty Chicago screws. No rivets on this. The fire steel, you know, after I put the fire steel loop on here, I kind of wish I would have done something different instead of a fire steel loop. But, you know, it still works. It still looks good. So, the, uh, the scout straps, you know, I put this little piece on right here for no other purpose but looks. Beef it up a little bit. Same with the retention strap. Now, something you'll notice with the retention strap is a lot of people, they put bungee cord or um, shock cord on the back of these so that way when they open, it springs open, they draw their knife, it won't cut into the, 
the retention strap. Well, I'm not a real big fan of that, and that's just simply because that stuff just does not seem to last long for me. You know, when you put it in the rain and the elements and everything else, it just does not last long. So, as what I've done is uh, I have this to where it swivels around, and you can actually snap it in place on the back just like that. And that will keep that, you know, away from your knife blade, keep it from getting cut. Now, all of this is removable, okay? That belt strap will come off if you take that Chicago screw out. The dangler will come out if you want to have this sitting higher on your waist. And the other thing is, is you can see that it's set up for scout carry. So, this whole attachment here actually comes off as well. Just like that. So now you can carry this thing scout or cross draw however you want. Another thing that I do is it's very rare that I use a lot of different snaps and hardware on my work and that's simply because I like to avoid any type of failure uh, before it happens and unfortunately snaps and hardware fail you know the leather is not I, I, I know if you take care of the leather it's not gonna fail you but these will fail so as what I've done is I've made it to where if they fail this whole strap can be removed and it can be sent back and a new one can be made and very easily put on same goes with the retention strap it's completely removable taken off sent back a new one done now I know what you're saying to yourself right now if I was to buy something like this that is going to cost me an arm and a leg well as many of you guys know I specialize more in a traditional bushcraft style sheath a sheath like this, okay, minus the uh, the extra accessories like a place for a a uh, ceramic rod, you know, and a uh, leg strap or something like that. With a basic sheath just like this, with a fire steel loop, with a removable dangler, I actually pride myself in the fact that I can almost assure you, I offer my sheaths. A lot cheaper than anybody else and um, when I say cheap I'm not talking about the value of the sheath these things are all made with top-notch material okay I just simply mean I got into this business with a goal in mind myself I was looking for a sheath hedgehog leather works had an amazing one I didn't feel like spending three hundred dollars on a sheath so I made my own. I wanted to pass along that same deal to everybody else. So I make sheaths very affordable. Now, something like this, with those extra additions on there, believe it or not, something like that will take approximately nine hours to make. Okay, That's not all hands-on work. It's dry on time and all kinds of stuff. But nine hours. Okay. Think about that for a second. Handmade, nine hours, gets a little pricey. But like I said, my stuff is very affordable. Now when you get into something more elaborate, like that Panzer sheath right there, well, I can't tell you how many hours was in that thing. That thing was hours upon hours upon hours. And everything that I've done on it is about function and about looks. I don't need to add things like this. Okay. I can do, I don't have to line everything with artificial sinew. 
I don't have to do that. I can use copper rivets and things like that back here instead of sinew to save time and everything else. So a sheath like this, functional and beautiful, yes, you're going to pay a pretty penny for it. Still not as much as Hedgehog Leatherworks. But, get away from all the thrills and everything else, and you can actually act, you know, have a very reasonable price sheath. So there you have it, guys. George, that is your sheath, my friend. And I wanted to thank you very much for the trade. I hope you were happy with this. A lot of time, a lot of care went into making this sheath for you. And uh, I think it turned out very cool. I really don't want to give it to you because I really like it. Uh, so anyway, if any of you guys out there are interested in getting your hands on a sheath similar to this or one of your knives, just give me a contact at wolfcustoms at yahoo.com. And as always, guys, 